Yes, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, we are going to be working on this JBL speaker. Uh, this is a JBL Charge 3. So in this video, we are going to see how to modify JBL speaker batteries to put any other cells that you have around. The battery you see here, the cells are sorry. So this speaker cannot work well because the battery cannot keep power and needs to be replaced. The challenge of replacing this battery is that I can't find it within my local shops. And I have to order it and then it has to go through the ship. As you know, batteries cannot be shipped in plain. So it has to take months to reach here. And the client wants this speaker to work as soon as possible. So I decided to make this video to show you how you can modify the batteries of a JBL speaker. So as you can see, these are two cells, the original, this one can charge, but they cannot work. So what we are going to do, I've got these two cells here. This, each of them is 2000 milliamps, and the same this side. And these cells don't have any writings, but uh, on the sticker here, they say it is 22 watts. So here it shows, this is a 3.7 volts and a 6,000 milliamps. So it shows that each of these cells is 3,000 milliamps. So I couldn't get one which is 3,000. I'm going to use two to make 4,000. So inside here, I've tried these cells. So it seems I could actually pack almost four of these. But for the purpose of this video, we are going to first use these two and see if this speaker can be able to turn on and even charge. So, th so these batteries here have got this board and this board has got these components which control how much voltage moves from here, how much goes on when we're charging. Some of them are over current or under voltage protection circuits. So what we are going to do, we are going to solder off these cells. Like that. So after taking off those cells, we are also going to open this. Should be careful not to shut out. And we are going to unsolder this. Now all we have to do is connect these cells on this board. Like that. For this we are going to flip it because the positive is this side.
3.8 so you can see this board connects these batteries in parallel negative of this battery goes to negative of this and positive so, so let's see how much we get out of this control board so 3.8 So let's test. So it powers up. And let me see if it can charge. Actually here the battery shows it's almost 60%. Let's plug in the charger and see. So you can see it can still charge. Let me try to connect and play some music. So here in the Bluetooth it shows it's a JBL charge theory. So it has connected. Let me try. I'm going to play a ringtone. So this is evident that the new battery works. Let me shut it off. Thank you.